So, uh, I want to talk a little bit about just this group. We uh, we met with Lisa and Douglas. And we, one of the things that we wanted to do with this group was, uh, well, I mean, first of all, it's kind of really take stock of in, in inventory of what's happening currently in Austin. We don't really want to duplicate efforts that are already going on. We want to uh, serve the community in a meaningful way. Um, and Lisa already has a wonderful uh, meetup group that's already happened. It happens on a Wednesday after us. Um, and one of the main things that they, they do, many want to believe, one of the things that they're already doing are uh, there's an opportunity to sort of demo and do presentations like this. And so we felt like it was actually maybe perhaps not the best use of this group if the following week there's a regular opportunity to show work. And so why don't we just drive people, if you want to demo something or do a presentation, why don't we sort of use Lisa's group as the, as the sort of primary platform for that, which kind of uh, opens up this group to do some other things. One of the things that we were talking about, and I'd love to put it to you all, uh, uh, one of the things that we do as an organization with Fusebox is we bring in artists uh, from all over the world. And so one of the things we were thinking was, well, what if we use this, <coughs> this meetup as an opportunity to bring in uh, a guest artist uh, each month and have them do a presentation, they could do a workshop, it would all be free. Um, it would be a chance for us to continue to, as a, as a community, as artists, as technologists, to engage with and meet with some people uh, from around the country, uh, perhaps internationally as well, and also hone our, uh, our skills a little bit as well. So I don't know how, just how that sort of sits or sounds to people. Um, I have to figure out how to pay for all this. <laughs> Currently, no budget for it, but I've got some frequent flyer miles. Um, probably get some people here the next couple of months. Just uh, we could volunteer home. And... What were you thinking? Because I'll be honest, like um, I felt kind of similar to what you just said. That like a lot, a lot of the stuff kind of that you listed that you want to accomplish with yeah. this group is stuff that Protos has been working on for years. And yeah. like we kind of struggle to to get it going just because of the climate that we're in with what we're doing. Yeah. You know, just trying to, you know, just to build things is a little bit challenging to get it to that level where we do have funding. And so I think, you know, having more competition and more people working together is kind of another challenge, you know. So I think, you know, I'm just curious, like, you know, we do bring international artists, you know, it's kind of a huge thing that we do. Like, you guys do with Big Box. And so it's, um, the question is, like, I think it could be really complimentary to what we do, and I'm sure other people are doing. Like, how do you want to focus on it? You know, so that it could be complimentary enough. Especially for looking for funding and support for what we're doing. I'm sure there are other people in the other community that are in a similar group. It's kind of curious. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, I obviously would love the many plots uh, or ideas you have on that. Honestly, that's as far as we've gotten. Just like, for me, as an artist and someone living in Austin, I'm really hungry to engage with people around the country and around the world. And I feel like I'm always grateful for those opportunities when they arrive. And so that's and that's a lot of what we've done over the past 11 years. And so I did feel like even if it's just one person a month and we could take suggestions from the group, you know, we could have a running sort of list of people that, uh, of artists and thinkers that people are especially excited by. And we could put out feelers to see who's available. Um, if they would be willing to come. And also what kind of uh, company workshop um, uh, they might be able to, to do. Um, uh, so we could, you know, we could certainly check in with with you and other... Uh, well, that's even with maybe a way to collaborate. So if an artist wants to come up with Protoss and they, and they came to do the workshop during the, during the meetup, then it's a way to cross brand oh, and promote Protoss be because the, we have the monthly outlet for those artists to come to the workshop. Yeah, I've been looking for stuff like that since Crowder. That's been like something yeah. we work together rather than create unnecessary competition. You know, for, and I'm sure there are other things in the relationship on a depth of group where other people are doing yeah, totally. How can we collaborate rather than? Yeah. Totally. I oh, go ahead. Oh, so I don't know. Is this like a time where we can like suggest things? Totally. <laughs> <of course. laughs> so I feel like a big hackathon enthusiast. Yes. Thing that we're like all creatives here. I like creating things. So yeah. I've been trying to. 
like search for something that's like hackathon but art related, and there's nothing that really exists. So I mean, if you want to like pioneer, pioneer something. Like this was the <laughs> other idea. <laughs> this was <laughs> the one other idea that kind of came up on our meeting. So I think that's an awesome idea. Uh, I don't know how other people feel about it, but if, I think I think if there's interest. Uh, from the community, then that, I think that seems like uh, a wonderful thing to work towards. And I don't know what the right number is if it's maybe doing shooting for two of them a year or start by doing one. Your house will be next to those. Projects I need to work on, which I like skills. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you guys know it's pretty big. It's a really big. Yeah, it's done by Build Design. They do it for uh, it's twenty four hours. They're one of the biggest. Yeah, we've been a part of it before. Um, I mean, my understanding was it's a little different than it's a little different than what I'm imagining this being. I mean, when we at least when we participated in Creativefund, they selected. I think maybe I don't know, like seven nonprofits, and they paired the nonprofits with yeah. design teams to they had like 24 hours or 48 mm -hmm. hours to address a particular challenge or a new project that they were developing. Uh, yes, that doesn't sound like what. Yeah, Lisa and I spent a little bit of time after you left talking about this a little bit more, and one of the things we talked about was like you know, well before you left, it was this notion of. Having some sort of focus, so everyone's trying to solve a similar problem or either use a specific piece of technology. Mm -hmm. And then one of the ideas that we threw out was, was like potentially if we had we found someone local uh, that had some interesting piece of technology they developed, yeah, they could provide that for everyone to use. Then that would that could be an interesting focal point and make uh, it super local. That's cool. I actually <clears throat> have been talking to a few people and sowed the seeds, but I haven't heard anything back yet. No ideas come back yet. But a couple of hardware designers that I uh, work locally, if they could come up with something, that could be a really interesting seed for the, for the um, hackathon. Yeah. And then, Harry, what do you think about that? Do I? Um, no, I was gonna say like, um, oh, well, I, yeah, it'd be really interesting if you had like uh, one thing if you had like some kind of small concept, you know, and like. Um, well, I guess the, you know, the point is, I guess everybody here is pretty diverse backgrounds and stuff, but it's yeah. kind of like come up with this one little concept, and, and it, you know, whatever, it might turn into something bigger, it might turn into something smaller, but at least people can kind of talk about it and like, oh, you know, this little, you know, new animation, so maybe do this and this and this, and kind of, uh, it's kind of like a little mini hackathon kind of thing, and um, kind of every week, just kind of take a little bit of time, like, just kind of get everybody's brain going, and like, uh, uh, just, just do this little black box of like, Whatever kind of installation or some kind of deal, and this, uh, and I guess the whole point is it's kind of like uh, aggregating like ideas, whether it's like I mean I do a lot of hardware and computer vision kind of thing, and, uh, but then I guess kind of everybody else a chance to kind of you know uh, see what everybody else's skill set is, and kind of then uh, I guess some kind of general thing, and then everybody can you know. All right, what Harry was supposed to be thinking was. <laughs> He has something he's built that would be really cool for people to yeah. hack on. Yeah, cool. Uh, so got and he's getting, <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah. closer. Yeah. And I was curious, when you were thinking about the hackathon, uh, what kind of what frequency did you have in mind? Were you thinking this would be something that would happen every month, or would it be a special event outside of? Just like having a hackathon. Right, just the art. Or I guess creative art. And like, you don't have Making to be a uh, Like I'm a programmer, but yeah. like I like to do other things.
papers can be some way worth that. Yeah. Because uh, it wait, takes there's a lot some, of planning. Yeah. yeah. And so like, it's there are a couple of groups that just do like, hey, we're gonna get uh, you know Sunday morning, Saturday mornings, we'll go to yeah. this one coffee shop, and sometimes we'll do like three of us, and sometimes we'll do like fifteen, and we'll just sit there and code together. Uh, maybe not at all on the same thing, or um, what is run by uh, the guy who used to be the evangelist for Microsoft, and he was like, yeah, come here and pack on here and try to do whatever you want. Like, so it was just a bunch of people that were up, which was fun. Um, but then you go in this kind of like gradation and like size and what you're supposed to do, and then you hit this kind of like hackathon uh, cutoff, which monthly is pretty aggressive, but if you have a really good base, like that's, that's all in. Um, but to get a good group together, you're gonna be looking for like, Like, well, maybe like so, like a workshop, but like, like a long meeting workshop thing where you know, go, so you have like set presenters that present kind of what they're working on, but then you might have you know, either every other like you, so either you, you can like invite people that would just strictly present kind of like stuff they're working on, or you can you can like you know, change it out where it's like maybe a speaker shows up, it's more of like kind of like a little mini workshop kind of thing. It's like, hey, here's these tools I made. Uh, there's some stuff I want to teach you, like, and then they might continue to kind of go a little, you know, laid back, kind of, uh, uh, like, meeting workshops so people can learn, like, their, you know, skill sets and like that, so. So I was at I.O. and I took the Connect workshop, and it was essentially the Microsoft team developing Connects, and it was an introductionary workshop where, like, you know, how to it up, blah, 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 but, you know, what they're planning on doing for Instant and, uh, October is to take that and actually create an installation. You know, it's an all-day thing, and we might not have that kind of time frame, but maybe it's like, you know, it's something that we built over a series of months, where for one month, it's like, oh, we're, we're going to do a projection mapping. Because, you know, I forget your name, but uh, it's something like that. It's like, oh, we'll create a projection mapping. We have these tools, like, you know, we'll go through the process, creating an animation, maybe we possibly make it interactive instead of just a movie. And it, it happens over six months or one month or two months. And that could be a, a really good series. Totally. That sounds, that sounds really good. That sounds like at the end of that, you'd want to be able to display it somewhere. For sure. yeah. And yeah. you know, and that so could like be a building, like or it could be at a gallery, or you know, that's a one night event that you know, I'm sure Ron and I've met some people who are interested in showing that kind of work. So it, I think that could be amazing as a group that you know, we all have different set, set of skills. Let's bring them all together so we can learn from each other. There's a series of workshops over several months and it <coughs> culminates in a, a sort of group show or exhibition. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this would be kind of cool just to share like what our tools are working on is kind of share them and everybody kind of learns up this kind of weird. I mean, they got quite a bit of thing. Totally. The way, so if we had someone visiting each month, maybe they're here for like two days and they do a talk or a demonstration just hanging out with each other too and then there's, there's a piece of it that's just social and then there's a workshop that accompanies it and maybe that's x number of hours or whatever that allows us to really kind of roll up our sleeves and uh learn a little bit and so maybe if there's like you know five or six of these uh what about how long would a typical sort of hack be, would that be over the course of the weekend? Is that like what's most common? Yeah, it has to be a day. So I run a at my company, mm -hmm. and you need a significant amount of time yeah. to sit down. So at least a day would be nice. Mm -hmm. So a Wednesday would definitely not work. Maybe yeah, a Saturday to be a yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them even start Friday evening, you know, all day Saturday, and then yeah. some yeah. Sunday well, after judgments on Sunday. Uh, pack for change, which was pack for non profit, but that mm -hmm. was on Saturday, or Friday, Saturday. But the formats change around the stuff. Like, yeah. A lot of them are like, you, nobody knows each other. Go up, pitch ideas, yeah. and stuff like that. Like the, the one Which for, I find boring. But. The one for this one, like, you have to have an idea and you have to, like, champion it. And so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really like those formats. I like to, like, come in fresh and then you can pivot whatenever and present whatever you want. So, it's like, look what I've created. So, that's whatever. And, and how 
how do you you know like you know, that was his idea of focus maybe a, you know a sort of featured technology that is uh, a local sort of yeah. Yeah. product it's kind of it just kind of gives a parameter yeah, yeah. yeah. i said we call it microsoft <laughs> 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 well or intel with their uh, real sense right like yeah. similar product and you don't know until you ask. Yeah. I mean, if you guys are collaborating with programs, we definitely have connections for technology and technology that people like to offer us all the time. But I, I, I would prefer it to be in collaboration with us yeah. for something that we're doing. That but definitely awesome. have like too many opportunities that I can't use myself personally, or I can't get enough people together yeah. on my own to do as much as Would that be of interest to you? Oh, definitely. I mean, for sure. That would be I, I'm, I'm kind of one of those people though. I'm like, if we're, if we're, if I'm putting, you know, efforts into it, or we can run it with Megalo, I would like it to be a collaboration. Great. You know, and I think that that's all what everyone is here yeah. talking about. So I don't see why not. That would be awesome. I mean, just like to, I would love to see like this stuff happen, the, the experimenting with the technology. It sounds like. I this is the first time I've been to this group, so um, but, uh, my name is Ben. Um, well, hey, thanks. <laughs> thanks. It's pretty, pretty cool so far. So um, I was thinking, I mean, this is, this is really cool. There's some great stuff with Arduino, a lot of motion sensing. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and it's really great because you can do a lot of kind of custom button styles and things like that. And I'm really creative and, and have kind of a, um, have it work in such a way which you can kind of customize all the graphics and things that it responds to. So, sort of ongoing list of artists or presenters that would be interesting that we're just personally interested in. Um, Outside of the group? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be fun to, to hang out with for a day or two uh, and learn from. Would um, it be something local or do you want a more national list? I think we should do both. And then we should, I, I like the idea of bringing someone in <laughs> like I said, we don't have a budget for it at this point. So it might be someone from like West Austin. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good for the first time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I, I do have some frequent flyer bottles. Uh, if we find the right person and they're willing to come here for pretty cheap, you know, then we can certainly consider. I think that would be fine. Uh, but I also think, I mean, I also think, I think ideally it would probably actually be a mixture of, of local and out of towners. And, but that's also a way to continue just to get to know the landscape here. There's a lot of amazing, interesting people here that I, I don't know. Um, so I think that would be a good, I don't know, just project for this group to continue to kind of understand the landscape that's, that's here. Um, <clears throat> and maybe we could also keep a kind of running list of technologies that would be fun to kind of explore as part of a, a hackathon, a couple of them have already been kind of suggested here. 
Um, and then, I don't know, maybe we could start thinking about what that first hackathon might look like and where it should uh, take place. Good, good dates, maybe a couple months from now. <laughs> <laughs> At least. Yeah. yeah. Other thoughts? I think it would be pretty important to, over the next week, try to get some idea of what next, unless folks have already have ideas today, um, so that, because I think the more time that passes, the you know, more difficult it'll be. Yeah, the it's about process. a lot of those. Yeah. So that's, so we might, they might force our hand to, to stay local for, for a little bit as we start to <coughs> uh, uh, build up the, yeah. you know, that relationship as well. Folks, and that gives them more time for funding too. Yeah. Um, it would also it would be great to to talk with you just about what Protos has already sort of have had in the works or what you're thinking about. If there's any opportunities to collaborate with this group yeah, and what you're doing, that would be great. The hackathon thing I want to happen for a while, and I don't I don't want to lead it all, <laughs> but yeah. I would love to have great. you know kids come. Awesome. And I think that in the way of like looking for people, experts, that people, you know, like Protos, our config, we were talking about this too, of us, like, what are our configurations? Mm -hmm. Or I think someone used that word, maybe it was Lisa, and just kind of like saying, what are each of our configurations and how do they complement each other? And one is like, Protos showcases that. I would say one more thing that we've kind of stepped over is, you know, bring in also Mounted on Folk, Rocks, uh, Workshops, awesome hackathons, love it. Uh, but we need a lot of people for that. Like there's, there's, you know, you can't bring in a presenter who's like very uh, awesome and then be like, well, only 12 of us knew about it. So I would say a task would be bring a friend next time. That would be awesome. Yeah, or an enemy. It wouldn't just be us. I think you'd advertise them on Eventbrite, you'd have Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but there's certainly like, you need to start building up the network earlier yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, that's the biggest, biggest thing is the, the idea of collaboration. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, you know, Austin's great in this in interactive stuff, because all the stuff is really neat. Like, I mean, it's still kind of new to Austin and like, you know, San Francisco and New York's been there forever. But I think, yeah, definitely the big thing, you know, it's nice to be up a new group and stuff, is that. I mean, I haven't met you guys until now. It's like the, the idea is collaboration. It's like just working with a lot different groups and different people and trading ideas and stuff. I think that's what makes Austin look different from like you know, San Francisco and New York, where it's more cut through, which is just like, it's just new, it's just work, you new cool shit all the time. So I love it. That's all I give a shit about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll bitch each other all the time. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I also think that we you know, who is this about Yeah, it's not a big deal. I think you have to get, like, <laughs> yeah. like to, to commit. Yeah. Right? So don't end up having, like, 90 RSVP. <laughs> <laughs> and is there a way to use this group to, you know, help foster some more sort of uh, collaboration as well? I mean, obviously, I think the hack is, is an opportunity yeah, to that. I think uh, definitely, and one thing I like to see is uh, it doesn't have to be necessary. But well, at least in my idea, not necessarily like a hackathon. Or, well, a hackathon would be awesome. Um, I guess I would kind of like to see. I mean, I, you know, there's some things that I guess. Yeah, I guess I can see where it might be like, okay, let's present this one little concept of Arduino or something like you know, that he's doing and. Uh, so, you know, present for about you know, 20 minutes or something like that. And it's like, okay, then let's either get some kids out or figure something kind of like, it's not like a full-blown workshop, but maybe something kind of like a bite-sized version where 
you know, one of the meetups with this be where somebody learns how to do this one little simple thing and then, then they can take it back and build on top of that or something yeah, like that. Sure. Yeah. So like kind of learn, well, it's like, you know, it's just kind of like, or, you know, in the programming, like this explores one little concept and then, so, so it's kind of like building these little tools that people can go back and kind of apply to where their work is. So they kind of like, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, mutate or something to whatever they're doing and they can kind of come back and share or, you know, oh, I learned this and I, Mess with it a little bit, and you know, then I learn this, and then throw it back, and vice versa. So, Are you talking about a library or like a forum or something? Uh, I don't, you know, I don't have the library stuff. Well, I mean, like, I think more is like, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of like, you know, this is kind of just sharing knowledge and like experiences and stuff like that. And it's like. It sounds like it's almost like a short format workshop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like it's not, it's not so much like an education. Yeah, because I mean, well, the problem is when you do a full blown workshop, you know, because you're talking about like cost and stuff, it's like, okay, the presenter not only has to, you know, the presenter has to like charge money because they have to buy, say, if I want to do Arduino workshop, I have to go buy a bunch of Arduinos and the various parts. Yeah, or something like that. But maybe you can, you can kind of try to figure out how to kind of cut that down a little bit where. People still gonna learn this little technical bite size skill, um, but don't have to like buy you know forty Arduinos or something, or like reuse some little things. Or uh, I mean, the easiest way is probably like, you know, programming, for instance, where everybody's most people here has a laptop or something, so learn some little quick thing in processing, for instance. And uh, I mean, I mean, maybe something to play around with, some ideas a little to play around with. It's like uh, some kind of like little. Uh, like I said, like I mean, yeah, because it seems like everybody I've met has like pretty diverse skill sets and stuff, and like I like I do hardware and stuff, but I kind of suck, you know, you know the, like the animations and stuff like that. Definitely audio is my Achilles still, so um, so yeah. So anybody wants to teach me how to play, like, yeah, kind of cool, but, um, yeah, that's one suggestion. <laughs> so, yeah. I also like taking a presentation about creative process. Yeah, yeah. I just create a process. I like to understand what your creative process is. Yeah. I think so. Not really creative as well, too often. Yeah, I like to figure it out. Yeah, it's cool to do that. There was also, uh, before we go in, there was also a request just to go around very quickly. You know, just almost, you know, each other's almost done, so let's. Let's just go around the room and say who we are. <coughs> I'm Ryan Berry, Artistic Director of Fusebox. Uh, I'm Morley. I'm a software developer. Um, the, the main reason I'm here is uh, because my girlfriend's a journalist. She's a, at a conference in Indiana. She's supposed to be here too. Uh, basically, she writes uh, stories about major events that are happening. She lives at Baltimore and things like that. But I want I want a way to express these through these stories through art, and um, I'm here to learn from you guys and see what creative ways they are to express these things. One challenge I'm facing is most of these, um, most of different ways to tell these stories are very time consuming, and um, like the app, for example, if you need to develop an app, it takes a lot of time, and the time is gone. So I'm I'm thinking about uh, creating really simple technologies. Which are frameworks so that people can create something within a few days or a few hours. Uh, one of the things I'm toying with right now is the Hello Lamp post that we had uh, a few yeah. months ago, which is just a simple text <coughs> and calling Mace interactive thing. I'm trying to build a platform so that she can plug in her stories at a certain locations. Is that an Pardon me? No, I'm doing this by myself. Oh, yeah. Fine. And uh, I'm going to open source the project so everyone can use it. Um, so I like to think more about, about things like this, using really simple technologies for a lot of artists. We over here understand technology, but there are a lot of artists out there who don't want something really simple to make an artist interactive. That's why I'm here. I'm here. I may need you. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Scott. I <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I, uh, I'm a software engineer and uh, never really had much of a uh, design sense or artistic sense. And um, I realized that a uh, really critical part to being successful in this industry is having more of that. So that's just kind of what I want to 
Awesome. You know, playing around with Tombstone. Glad you're here. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I'm Andrea. I run Turtles Festival. We're an art and technology festival. Um, we have a that's broadly what we do specifically uh, focus on showcasing interactive art, electronic music, and experiential technology. And um, right now, we're gearing up for next year to have the festival in the spring and summer. I'm so for this. We do, a, we do a configuration of presentations, which are very, very short, like five minutes, 10 minutes tops, um, kind of cross between Petra Kusha TED Talks, and they are about broadly art and technology and innovators in it. And then an innovative technology or art and then um we also will do the presentation the short format i'm sorry not the, the mini workshop um where we just do like a bite-sized sort of sample of whatever it is ideally something new that the most people would kind of be aware of or know what's going on with it or how to use it so for example like off those sort of we showcase a couple years ago people got to play with it on stage on a huge screen it was really fun um, and then we will do um, performances. Sometimes they're just a DJ set with a bunch of dancers, or they're fairly elaborate, where we're, you know, really experimenting with technology where we don't even know if it's going to work yet. You know, so um, that's kind of really what we want to do. Also, have some educational programs in the works, um, some kind of online social things like forums and little online things that we can work with people, and then also have a program in the works that will hopefully be phase using at the end of the year. Kind of a small one. I'm just saying grand, but it's okay. It's a small grand. It's what? It's a small grand. Yeah. yeah, it's small like a tiny little cage. <laughs> 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 you have to get to a regular Thank you. Oh, and Sven, a little cold, so hopefully you can understand me. Uh, <laughs> Um, I, I do uh, work at Startups, um, do a lot of design, branding, um, and startup clients as my income. Uh, but I love installations, uh, interactive installations, responsive sort of things. Um, I, so a lot of stuff here that we're talking about is really great. I'm excited about that. Um, I think a cool intersection is uh, like 2D or I'd say laser cut materials, 3D printed materials with the electronics. So you have a sense of real physical design with responsive interactive. I mean, that's like really exciting, you know, 3D printing and stuff like that. So, totally. yeah, that kind of stuff to me is like, I mean, it's just like a wide open field. So, it'd be kind of cool to see how that moves. Well, Douglas, uh, on the Fusebox board, really interested in community and building communities. And so, um, you know, kind of proposed this to meet up to Ron and the guys, and they seem to really uh, like the idea. So, we've just been struggling on how to, how to get it really kicked off and moving. And, Starting a little momentum, so it's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's 
so fast. I told him he should do like a like 360 video, and then I was like, that's just inviting people to come over. Hey, here's the one stuff is that? Yeah, it's all Yeah, I think like you can see in it pretty easily. I need a be a better like five minutes. It certainly does now that I own you. Yeah, right, yeah. So, hey, is everybody kind of still messed up? Bring your kids together. Yeah, you go. Yeah, we're all kind of like we used on that shit. So, like, yeah, right. There you go. Nice. I got Bruno's insurance, so it's not good. So, whenever you need a new part, just call us up. Yeah, it's like I need a new 3D printer. Um, but I didn't tell you that. I didn't, like, you didn't hear that. <laughs> I'll give you a, a minky uh, smiley emoji. Somebody can't represent that. They can't do that. <laughs> I'm Kevin. Um, basically, like Gary said earlier, I like to build cool shit, meet other people, collaborate on it. Good things. <laughs> I'm Ramona, um, I'm a creative director, and I'm really mostly based in print. I do a lot of work with content, I don't do a lot of work with technology. I'm interested in technology, it excites me, I just don't know how to work it very well. Um, so in the line of work that I do, the core of it is probably really developing internal cultures um, and activating that with, kind of, with different sorts of branding, and then trying to bring in technology. I was really interested in your project with the augmented reality because I just got a project where that is going to be a component of it. I have no idea what to do with it, but I'm really excited. So <laughs> anyway, my purpose for being here, um, I really like the Fusebox festivals. I'm familiar with them and I just want to help. My name is Darvish. I'm an artist, uh, architect, uh, public artist. I make things both physical and both uh, analog and digital, so laser cut, weld, uh, all the fun things. Get your hands dirty. Um, and I, my work is also moving towards more uh, interactive installations. I've done a couple already and want to do more. Awesome. So, yeah, glad you're here. Yeah, good to see you. 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 Can you tell us about that? Like when we finish? Do we have time? For yeah, we'll finish and then we'll yeah. do a little bit of IO up. I'll get it up on the screen as well. <laughs> I'm Lisa Woods. Uh, by day, I'm an interaction designer. By night, <laughs> a digital artist who's really interested in interactive installations. Um, once a month, I run the Austin Interactive Installation Meetup. Very long name. So that's where I've met some fantastic people in Austin. That, that was kind of the point. It was like, we're all here, right? It's always that surprise, I'm like, we're here. Um, and that's been going on quite a year. It's also a fantastic experience. And this is the last one here. Alternate locations, but ask me if you want to know where it is. Um, and yeah, I just came here because Ron is one of those people that I've met as I've been meeting people. And um, Fusebox, I do love. I've gone for a couple of years now. Um, yeah, just all very exciting. And just trying to find ways to collaborate and build community and collaborate and contacts between people. That's a good thing. Great. And let me know if there's a, I mean, I love the idea of sending people from this group to your group for a demonstration. We should all just be going to your meetup anyway. It's, it's. What is it so, called again? It's the Austin Interactive Installation Meetup. I have a second run on that. I don't think anyone missed it. We should all go to Lisa's group too. <laughs> it's right after we have a good time. Yeah. So it's right after this one? It's the Wednesday after this one. So this Wednesday. one's the. Oh, okay. Next to last Wednesday of the month. I thought it was the last. Is it here? Yeah. No, it's sometimes at Rio Vida for having a happy hour. <laughs> and when we're not, we're getting down to like work. Um, it's the, tink the Tinkering School, not the Tinkery, mm -hmm. Tinkering School, which is run by the woman who organized the Austin Memory for Parents. Mm -hmm. um, they have a work workshop. Nice workshop in the cafeteria. We have privacy, it's quiet, and we can bring some beer and we talk about whatever. Nice. You should send out a message to the group. Yeah. Like, yeah. With, yeah. with your link. Yeah, yeah that would be awesome. Good. 
Great, thank you. My name's Anthony, I'm a software developer. I'm also a musician, also do sound design, and I'm very interested in interactive uh, installations. Uh, and I'm, I'm just here just because I'm excited to collaborate with other people and also realize that you can't do it all yourself. <laughs> it takes forever, so yeah. it's good to just be able to divide that work and collaborate and create together. So, right. Awesome, thanks. Hi, I'm Megan. Um, I moved here a few months ago from Chicago and I'm, um, I'm an artist and I work with energy and so I just kind of wanted to meet people and see what's happening in this cool city. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Hey there. Uh, my name's Max and I'm a fairly new Austinite as well. I think tomorrow will be eight weeks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I moved here because I'm taking a class with General Assembly uh -huh. and development. So truth be told, I was actually here for that book and hack thingy and the reception sent me to the wrong room. Oh. <laughs> 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 I like the like working with the community and stuff, so I thought it'd be cool to sit in and figure out some good meetups to go to. Oh, great. Well, well, glad you're here, right? Mark A. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get a reception to my dogs. Can I just mention that I had, I was kind of the gatekeeper for everyone's information, and I got yours. I got Anthony's, I got Adam's, who's not here, right? And um, John Giamanco? Giamanco? I think he was here last night. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I. Should I still be collecting? Yes, yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I didn't get an email that you sent. Are you in? You're in the media group, right? I don't know, but oh. I know I wrote the email before, so can I give it to you? Are you collecting? Well, well the, the, folks can get these stuff now, right? Sure, yeah. yeah, I'll, yeah. I, I mean, in an email, that would be preferable and it would be lost. Right? Well, I think that somehow I got disconnected, so maybe we can, we can jot it down while she's here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or you would like to jot it down? Sorry, I sent it to Wait, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> the what? <laughs> Whatever way you prefer, I would like to be on that. Well, give, give me your email address right now. It's Andrea, A U R I A. I think you've emailed me before. So I know, I feel like I have. You have about that question. I'm at Protos Festival. How do you spell Protus? Protos? Yeah. Okay. Festival. Alright. I totally did, so I'm uh, sending that whole yeah, thing. So I will do that today. <laughs> I got it on my hands. I was going to tell them on email. You got the real seat right there. <laughs> well, that'd be cool, because I started playing around with it and other than that. Yeah, totally fine. Yeah, it's okay. It's on hand. And also, if you follow me on Twitter, I may grow your tweets, so you shouldn't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Doug, do we need to be out here right at 8? Is it? Well, no, there's no hard cut off. No, okay. yeah, no, sorry, so, so um, we're, it's almost time, but uh, maybe. So everyone's going to be thinking about potential speakers, both local and national, international. We should be thinking about some technologies that might be interesting to kind of feature as part of the. Uh, uh, hack. Um, plus, if there's skills that could be helpful, you know, to learn from a workshop, that could also help uh, help steer us towards certain speakers too. You know, uh, so be thinking about those things and share them. Uh, and then um, we should uh, maybe just for a few minutes, if you guys want to share some tales or yeah. stories or things from from my own, that would be uh, awesome. Also, there's one because uh, uh, you remind me of uh, uh, like I don't know if you, you've seen it. Uh, it's uh, George, Georgie and uh, I forget her name. Stephanie. Stephanie. Yeah. They, so there's one and very cool because uh, um, so they they both do data business a lot and uh, they both have uh, make sense of backgrounds in it. But what's cool is a project and what is. Uh, Something across the pond, I can't remember what it was. But so every week they would set a theme, and it was uh, like the ones I remember is like week of uh, 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 capture, like week of swearing or week of drinking. And 
and all these other things, and uh, and they would just manually log the data, like in these little books. And eventually, they started using that because they got way too tedious. But then, but then they would uh, draw like a data viz on these postcards, like every week. And uh, they used to post like the girl, one girl lived in London, and the other girl lived in uh, Brooklyn, New York. And they would send the uh, the postcards over each other and uh, to show their data viz and stuff like that. But it's all hand drawn. And so it's really neat, and, um, and then like I guess from going to London to Brooklyn, I guess the post carries a lot. Oh wait, going from New York to London was their the carries a lot more careless, so the, the postcards can kind of mess up and stuff. But, um, I guess my point was it's it really interesting how like they kind of did this weekly thing and uh, uh, it's all hand drawn and stuff like that. Cool. Use data. And stuff like that. So yeah, so when you're talking about that, it reminded me of one of the talks from there. That's one. That one was really cool. So, uh, so these are yeah, that one. Yeah, that was right there. Yeah, the front, back of one, and that each one would send one the other. Like they would have a theme, and then they would uh, track how much that theme happened to them, and then make a, a data viz on a postcard and send it to each other. Yeah. They would check how much what would happen to them. Uh, they would track, like, you know, how many times they curse. Oh, oh I see. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, wow, you know, cool. they would track yeah. it down yeah. and, you know, you would see, like, oh, like, or how many times, you know, you smiled at people walking down the street, how many right. times they smiled back, or said hello, or. Because that's, like, uh, that's energy right there. That's for the sure. And, of energy. and then so each, cool. each topic would have a different visualization, okay. and then they would send it to the other. And they, they've only met each other. Uh, I think that when they started doing this, it was their second time at, at the I.O. festival, and then said, oh, let's do this project, and for the past year, they've been doing this back and forth. Cool. Yeah. So, I mean, but every speaker is like that there. <laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> it's like, that's a lot of discipline. <laughs> so, it's a great festival. I mean, you know, you, it's I.O. because it's a visualization, and then have, they have a, a festival in the fall called Instant, which is uh, installation interactive. Instant. <laughs> so. Uh, well, I, I, I'm going. Okay. <laughs> well, because you know the Microsoft team, like when I took the next workshop, it's like, oh, we're gonna do an installation for that workshop, and like right in there. <laughs> yeah. So. It's when, when in the fall? Uh, it's September 30th to October 2nd. Okay. So it's a, the 30th, I believe, yeah. is the day of the workshop, and the first and second are yeah. speakers. And it's a different format then, where it's one speaker per time session, and you know there was events in the evening at IO, and it's a much larger crowd too. So I think IO they limited to 500 uh, attendees, and it sells out within an hour. So, and then the uh, has 250 people, and the tickets are still available. So, in Minneapolis. That's another thing I feel like a group could, could help each other out, just like being aware of events like that that are happening around the country. Yeah. Be really fun. There's, there's some great events in Montreal. They just had one in San Francisco called, called the Gray Area Festival. Yeah. Yeah. So that, uh, and there's a bunch in Europe. Sonos, Kick. Maybe what you know that we were talking about the daily Google Forms. Yeah. Maybe um, to add something like events, they yeah. like events yeah. or something like that. Oh, okay. That would be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. Um, that's all I got. I have a question, yeah. um, completely off topic from IO and, and these events. Yeah. So I understand how this meetup is now partnering with Rhesus. Yeah. So is this meetup also partnering with 
Tell me your name again. Andrea. Andrea. Okay. Is it somehow partnering with yours too? There was some discussion. I don't think we talked about that yet, but I'm open to it. Okay. Yeah, I think I we. Think that, isn't that the point of the meetup is to promote the community? Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's already going on. Thank you. Yeah. 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 So the demo aspect has to do with Lisa's. So what could be with yours? Well, we do should we showcase our technology, like I said, in a broad mm-hmm. sense, and then specifically we showcase electronic music. Like we really are kind of big on that. Um, not like necessarily like the DJ that's been going on a lot throughout the week, which I know was really people on that great, and I would like to bring that kind of thing up to a little bit more elaborate. Mm-hmm. And we also pair it with interactive art. I'm trying to get some program like the educational program up and running for quite a while. So it would be really nice to, you know, have have some talks with some people about partnering on that and then the residents as well. Um, and those are probably the main areas that I'm working on right now. And because I already have a lot of work, you know, years of work put into those things. So there those are things that are open for talks about partnership. Mm-hmm. Would love to primarily keep it focused on the some of the stuff and so gotcha. we just kind of publicly talked about it a little bit and I, and I already made a mental note to, to, to reach out to you and set up a lunch or a coffee yeah. or something with the three of us so we could kind of brainstorm some more of the stuff and see what might work and then um, and I think that something similar will, will evolve from that but that's why we got to that resolution so quickly gotcha. because we've already kind of uh, riffed on some of that and I was like yeah we don't want to we, we the group had already expressed a desire to do presentations and we're like that's pretty um, uh, central to her meetup, and so we didn't want to also do presentations a week before, and then mm-hmm. it become the same thing. So, that's so in other words, doing. talk amongst yourselves. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, like, there's so many, there's a lot that does already kind of go, beyond, go on behind the scenes uh-huh. like, with this community, and I think, um, I, I, I've seen a lot of things, like, a lot of people get together and have these talks about, you know, different things and in the, behind the scenes. So this is really um, great that like there's a, a community um, that is of the public of Austin public community like getting together and and saying what you know voicing what people want to do and so for me that's that's huge um, no matter what and I also I don't, I don't I think I think I mentioned it last time that I did on the I'm actually now leading the art and technology around people for the city so that helps me like get information about like what does the city need to do or what do other people who are partners of the city need to know about the, the community in question? Um, so from an advocate standpoint on my end, that's really important for me to just know about, not do it necessarily do anything with, but just know about and communicate mm-hmm. and um, help steer these other conversations that are already going on in terms of where we focus our energy and 
you know, what what kind of larger um, initiatives can be aware of what people want to do? I don't know if I'm too much of it. It's not very articulate. I can say, I'm, I'm kind of trying to think about it too, just kind of marinating on what everyone said and how, how we can all work together. Really, like, I think thanks to the Andy. Um, oh, me, uh, Harry. Harry, 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 That's kind of why I hid in the corner because I'm like, I don't really know how to do that. <laughs> So um, I like this idea that you know that like you have a hackathon, and the whole idea of a hackathon is we're using these things to create something, and so that's one way to look at it. But I also like this idea that now you've made it, now let's tell the story with it. And so this idea that you can have this you know this creative framework that is um, allows you to kind of plug things in and has some customizability to it. Um, is a really attractive idea because that way, that way, you can have this uh, core technology that's available, and whoever owns it, be it, be it open source or maybe few boxes, you know, the caretaker of that, um, they can then unleash that to artists, and then they can just do all sorts of variations of, of it and customize it in all sorts of ways, so that the technology itself is kind of transparent. It's actually the the story that's being told through it that I think is uh, where the, the creativeness happens, right? So it'd be neat to see some of that, you know, reusability happening and more the creating happening. Yeah. I love that notion. Uh, it's really, uh, I really appreciate you all uh, coming out. I think this is exciting. Uh, it's enjoyable spending time with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.